and hello hello and thank you for joining me in this video i will show you two easiest lifestyle tips to lose weight i am lilia mcnaught your fitness and nutrition expert who swings kettlebell and drinks wine and i believe knowing how to control your blood sugar level is the magic weight loss pill, which improve your health and being healthy, a side effect will be a weight loss. So let's start with the tip number one. Eat your carbs last. I repeat again, eat your carbs last. I want to begin with the explanation, what are carbs? I want you to understand that there are different branches of carbs. So picture a big carb tree. And that big carb tree has, has different branches on it. So one of the branch has uh, fruits. The other branch has all grains, and I'm talking about grains like wheat, something that make bread, make pasta, your rice, quinoa, buckwheat, anything that grains would belong to that branch. Then there's another branch that has starchy vegetable. So that means vegetables that grows from the ground. So they're all starchy, they're higher in carbs from starch. Then there's another branch that has beans and legumes. And another branch, which is very surprising for many people, and that branch has dairies. A lot of people think that dairies, all dairies, they would be probably protein or fat. But think about milk. Milk has 12 to 15 grams of sugar coming from lactose, which make, makes milk a carb. Surprising, right? right? Yeah, I understand that. So <clears throat> let's, um, so now you understand the carbs. So the only one carbs that you're okay would be green vegetables like salads and stuff like that. And I will come to that point in a sec. So one recent study analyzed the impact of food order, in which order you're eating the food, on post-meal blood sugar. So the thinking is that eating proteins, fats, and fibrous vegetable first slows down the speed with which the body absorbs carbs. Makes sense, right? If you eat something, your potato, for example, last, right? So then the absorption of potato will be slower in your blood because at the beginning you started with protein and good fat and some fibrous vegetables which don't convert into sugar in your blood. Make sense? So, and here is what been done during the study. So let me read that. After eating identical meals, but where subjects were instructed to either eat the carbs portion first or last. So those two studies, okay, been done. So, and they were, of course, monitored the blood sugar level. And when eating their carbs last, their blood sugar levels were 29% lower after half an hour then 37% lower after one hour and 17% lower after two hours. Now, this is a very important and impressive information to know, and we can use this information to our advantage. So to practice this approach, really and truly, it carries absolutely zero risk. I'm not telling you to remove uh, one food from yourself. So I would consider that a deprivation diet. So you're not removing anything. The only thing 
you're changing the order you eat. And this approach is quick and easy. So you won't only improve your blood sugar level, improve your health, but also you lose weight at the same time. And I repeat this over and over and over again. If you concentrate only on weight loss, weight loss is a side effect. It's a symptom of unhealthy body. So what you need to fix, you need to fix the root of the cause. And that is your body. So if you are improving your health and concentrating on that part 100%, then the weight loss will be a side effect. There is no other way. Okay? Okay. That was tip number one. Eat carbs last. And I mentioned what types of carbs. Let's jump into approach number two. Take short post-meal walks. And here is the study. A study published in 2016 compares the impact of only 10 minutes post-meal walks on blood sugar levels. So according to, the, to their find, findings, those short walks led to post-walk decrease in blood sugar of 20 decrease, yeah, 22%. Okay, now you're thinking, okay, so it's too much work, right? To walk after your meals, each big meals for 10 minutes, three times a week, three times a day, sorry. So, and listen, I agree with you. I wouldn't do that too. I think it's too much work. So what I suggest for you to start with small baby steps, like walking in front of TV after your biggest meal of the day. So, okay, let's pick up supper. You have your supper. You clean everything after supper. And then instead of jumping into your couch and watching Netflix, you're going to watch your, your Netflix, but standing and walking in one place. Even just by standing instead of sitting for 10 minutes would decrease your blood sugar level. So I, I think that's incredible information. And not to use would be, you know, you need to use this anyway. So this, this approach again carries absolutely zero risk and it's both quick and easy. Okay, so I don't want you to go outside and start walking 10 minutes in cold weather if you're in Canada. You know what I mean. So just simple walk in place in front of TV. So let's review. Tip number one, eat your carbs last. Tip number two, take short post meal walks. Now, my recommendation and suggestion to you is, why don't you incorporate both tips at the same time? So in that case, let's say you pick up supper and you do these two tips for a week, only for one meal, your last meal, supper. So you eat your carbs last and you decrease your blood sugar level by almost 30%. And then you walk in a place watching TV after supper and you decrease your blood sugar level by 22%. So now calculate equal to 52%. That's absolutely unbelievable. Like I, when I read this research, I was so impressed and happy. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so here's what I want you to do next. I want you to type one in the comment below if you're going to pick up tip number one and incorporate for the next week. You're going to type two in the comments below if you're going to pick up tip number two. And if you're one of those adventurous people, you're going to type one and two in the comments below if you're incorporating both tips for the next week. 
every single day without failing. Promise me? Okay, that's all I have for you today. That's it. Two tips. Easy peasy tips. Now, tonight you are going to incorporate those tips, okay? I'm done for now. I see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.